Welcome to Word Table of Contents. I'm Trainer Lori. So what are Table of Contents in Word? Well, it's a document navigation tool, and it's automatic if you use heading styles. Uh, for example, you can insert it where you desire. You can uh, automatically list entries by page number, uh, and it creates hyperlinks to the entries. Let me look, uh, show you some examples. Instantly created. Just a little bit different look more formal. And look at this, even for the internet if you want to create a web page. The first step that you to, to make an instant table of contents is to use headings. So we must know where headings is. It's on the home tab and it gives a consistent look across the documents, but you can instantly change it. Uh, so we want to start using the headings if you haven't been using those yet. All you have to do is highlight what you want to be a heading. For example, here I want uh, the text one half of the puzzle to become a heading. It's just regular text now. So then I go up to Headings and click Heading 2. And it instantly changes it with all the formatting that we need. And then if I really like it, instead of having to click that each time, I can use the Paintbrush Formatter. That means highlight the, the text that I, I like double click on the paintbrush and then everything I touch from then on will be in the same formatting style. So that's a really quick way to use the, uh, the styles. If you want to change the style, if you decide that's not exactly the look you want, you can easily change it multiple ways. One is by going into the style set and changing it. Another way is to right click on it and you can modify and choose uh, to change and it shows you a, a a formatting option, all the formatting options. That's one way to do it. But here's an even easier option. Simply highlight the text, change the style to what you want, and then go into Heading, right click on Heading, and say Update Heading to Match Selection. Now if you can only see Heading 1 and you don't see Heading 2, then you'll want to go into the dialog box by clicking the little box here, and then Options and then make sure it says show next heading when previous level is used. And believe me, I had to look that one up because I couldn't understand why some people had heading two and others didn't. So this is where you would turn that on. If you want to mark a table of content entry manually, you can use the Alt-Shift-O method and that will open up the uh, table mark table of contents entry. And so you can highlight the text that you want to be in the table of contents and then identify it this way. So if you prefer not to use the heading, you can do it this way instead. Alright, now that we've set our headings, we want to insert the table of contents. So what I generally do is create a new page by hitting Control Enter. That's a quick way to create a new page wherever your cursor is and then put your cursor where you want the Table of Contents, then go to References, Table of Contents. And all you have to do is choose one and you're done. Well, let's look at some of the options under Automatic Table. Uh, notice there's one called Contents and one called Table of Contents. This is Contents, that's all it says at the top is Contents. And Table of Contents, the only difference is it actually says Table of Contents instead of Contents. So those are quick ones and the, you can see that they have a dot leader and the, uh, all the numbers are justified on the right and all the text is justified on the left. It's a very clean way of doing it. You can also create manual table and that means you have to go in and set everything. Uh, so you would put in all the, the titles and, and do it the way you would as if it were a typewriter. It's time consuming but if you want complete control over it this is an option. We can also go down to the Insert Table of Contents. So if uh, you're familiar with inserting Table of Contents in 2003 or earlier versions, this is what the option was. And so this is our, our, um, our vintage option, our, our historic option. So you can just choose uh, based on the format here what it will look like up, up above. So you have multiple options down below. You also can choose if you want to show page numbers or not, etc. So you have multiple options in here. You can also click the Options button and get even more options.
Now I had this problem and I don't know where it came from, but I found out how to fix it. If code shows instead of your actual table of contents, if you get this, and of course that's not going to be very helpful unless you're writing in code, then you can go to your file options and under the advanced tab, one of the options is show field codes instead of their values. Of course we want to uncheck that to get rid of those codes. Now your table of contents that instantly is created uh, become hyperlinks as well. And all you have to do is hit control click to follow the link. So you click on the one that you want and it'll take you right to that page. It's a perfect option if you're emailing or using a, a CD or some other sort of a media to send it rather than paper. So a great way to, to find, especially if, if you have more than uh, eight pages that's considered a long document. You should always use a table of contents. If you need to update the field, you've made your changes to the document and now you want to update the table of contents, right click on it and you have the option of updating the field. You can also add text and if you're going to add text to your document, then you'll want to update the, the entire table. And you can choose which level that you want to add the text to. When you update the table, it gives you the option, do you only want to update the page numbers or the entire table? Sometimes it's just the page numbers you need to change. Uh, it does take a little longer to update the entire table. Another great uh, thing that you have when you use headings is the navigation pane. The navigation pane is also a hyperlink and it shows it always, whereas the table of contents is just on the page that you put it on. But the navigation pane will always be on the left, and so this is also a hyperlink to uh, the, the area. So while you're creating the document, this is, would certainly be a good place to play, to move around in it. Once you turn it on and uh, somebody else opens it, they will see the navigation pane as well. Remember, so two steps. First, apply styles by just clicking on the styles up at the top and you can change those very easily. And then go to Re References Table of Contents and insert your table of contents and you choose the style that you want. you want a quick one or do you want to come down here and make it uh, more personalized? It's that easy. Thank you. See you next time.